Good evening. I'm Pat Harvey. And I'm Paul Majors. The city of Chattanooga is reeling over a gunman who opened fire on two military facilities just miles apart. CBS 2's Peter Dowd is live at the Satellite Center with what the FBI is saying about the gunman and what a local counterterrorism expert believes inspired him. Peter. Paul and Pat, right now officials are going through the gunman's computer and any social media postings trying to determine what motivated his attack. Tonight in Tennessee, a memorial is growing at the site of today's deadly shooting. Chattanooga is a great city with a broken heart tonight. More than a dozen bullets pierced the glass at this Armed Forces Career Center in a strip mall. Witnesses say the gunman rolled up in a silver Mustang, took out a large gun, and started shooting. The place was like something on TV. Furniture shot up, TVs, walls, bullet holes all in them. The second attack came six miles away at a Navy Operations Center and Marine Corps Reserve where four Marines died in a hail of bullets. This is a nightmare for the city of Chattanooga, um, one, but one to which we will respond. This is the suspected gunman, 24-year-old Mohammed Yosef Abdulaziz from Hickson, Tennessee. A Kuwaiti national, he became a naturalized U.S. citizen. He was shot dead after killing the Marines and injuring at least three others. The FBI says the suspect was not on their radar as a possible threat. Tennessee investigators have yet to find any ties to a foreign terror group, but one Southland terror expert is certain there is one. This is ISIS. This is how they operate. Aaron Cohen owns IMS Security and spent several years in Israel's counterterrorist operations unit. He says ISIS and other terror groups have been using social media to spread propaganda and recruit people to do harm, especially in places considered soft targets. Why would these terrorists go to those extremes? Because those are easy targets. And it's just super low tech, it's very inexpensive. And look at the effect it has. ISIS has been calling for lone wolf style attacks on the military and police in the U.S. during the month of Ramadan, which ends tomorrow. So far, officials say they have not been able to find any certain connection to terrorist organizations with the suspect. Reporting live in the Satellite Center, Peter Dout, CBS 2 News.